Uh, we calculated our take, total takedown permit numbers using our uh, January 2014 point time count numbers. Um, and then we did some, based on the, the batch utilization in Delaware and Montgomery counties, we, we did some um, uh, subtraction based on what we felt uh, those communities would, would, ha would, uh, would be able to serve. And then the calculations that you can just see here, uh, we're identifying um, a monthly rate of housing 31 um, individuals experiencing veterans uh, <coughs> homelessness and then serving uh, three, you know, just over three uh, persons that are chronic homeless category. Great. Perfect. So with that, let me turn over to Gina to talk a little bit about the process. Yes. Um, the process you think is not that difficult when you're thinking in your head and then when you're laying out, it's completely different. So I think from um, in summary, we said that from a veteran or a caseworker calling the VA homeless hotline to Lisa would take uh, about 71 days. And that's mainly in part to the great outreach team at the VA and the expedited process through the housing authority. Um, so, you know, it's basically outreach team referrals and transitional housing referrals going through the screening process with PHA and then through the briefing and Lisa. Lisa. Um, so about 71 days. We have four um, pink slips for signatures, which there's probably more in there, and five um, yellow tags for potential problems, which I think there's probably more that we can Great.